Okay, and our last piece for surface area is the lateral surface area of cylinders. Okay, so notice that we don't have that big long formula anymore. All we have is 2 pi RH, so the first part of it. Okay, so total surface area would have been the both bases, so both circles, and the lateral face, the rectangle that connects those two circles. In this case, with the lateral surface area, all you're solving for is the area of the rectangle that makes up the middle between the two circles that make up the bases. Okay, so again, it's the easiest one because they give everything to you. You just have to find the radius and you have to find the height. Okay, so just to review, the radius of the the radius of a cylinder is the circle that makes up the base. Okay, or it comes from the circle that makes up the base. Okay, and again, your base of a cylinder is one of the circles. So, your radius, if you're given the diameter, your radius is half the diameter. So there's a chance you may have to divide that diameter in half to get the radius. And H, the height of the cylinder, is still from base to base, so from circle to circle. Okay, so with total surface area, it's the same with lateral. There's two things we need. We need the radius and we need the height. Okay, this time our radius has been given to us. We look at this circle and we see, oh, that's not the radius, that's actually the diameter. So we take 14, we divide it by two. That means we have a radius of seven. And then the height of the cylinder from base to base is two. So from circle to circle, two meters. Okay, so we have our two pieces. Now we just plug them into our equation, two pi r or our formula, 2 pi r h. So the lateral surface area equals 2 pi times the radius, which is 7, times the height, which is 2. Type it all into your calculator, and you get 88 meters squared for the lateral surface area. So that's only the rectangle that connects the two circles on the cylinder. Okay, let's do one more. So again, we need the radius and we need the height. In this case, the radius has been given to us. It is one. Okay, and the height of the cylinder from base to base is four. Okay, plug it in. Lateral surface area, two pi times the radius, times the height. Plug it all into your calculator. That means the lateral surface area is 25.1 meters squared. 